We're officially in the fall season, so let's make a cute pumpkin spice design since that seems to be the mascot of the fall season. I'm starting out with a chalk pencil and I'm outlining a cup with some whipped cream and cinnamon sticks and then I'm coming back through with some Liquitex gesso to give a little bit of a base coat before I add any color. These Caribbean beach pebbles can be a little bit porous so the gesso helps kind of seal everything in so that it, the paint doesn't soak into the stone on the first coat. For the base of the coffee cup, I'm gonna use this DecoArt metallic berry paint. It's just a nice, deep, kind of burgundy purple color, and it's very pretty, so I thought this would be fun for the coffee cup. So I'm just gonna take a fine line paint brush and do the outlines, and then a thicker brush and fill in the majority of the cup with this color. This paint is metallic, which means it probably needs a couple of coats to make sure that you have full coverage and you don't show the brush lines in the paint. So just do as many coats as you need for whatever paint color you choose. Now I'm gonna take this Apple Barrel Chocolate Bar paint and fill in the two cinnamon sticks. So they kind of have a round top and then just a long elongated bottom. So they're gonna be one color for now, we'll add a little bit of dimension to them later in the design. Now I'm gonna take some white paint and fill in the whipped cream on top of our pumpkin spice drink. Again, you're probably gonna need a couple of coats to make sure you have nice, solid coverage with the white paint. Now I'm gonna take a broad-tipped white Posca paint pen to use it as a base coat to create a small pumpkin on the front of the cup. So sometimes this works also instead of the gesso, I feel like I have better control for drawing the shape So I'm, and it's small, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this paint pen to do the base coat. Then I'm gonna use Harvest Orange and Jack-O-Lantern Orange. They're just slightly different and I'm gonna create a pumpkin much like we did in the Hello Fall tutorial a couple of weeks ago. So the darker Harvest Orange is going around the edges and just kind of giving it a nice outline and then I'm filling it in with the jack-o-lantern orange and then I'm going to come back and forth with a damp paintbrush and paint and just kind of blend the two oranges together along where they meet. You can't really go wrong here if you get too much of one color you can come back with the other you can blend with a damp brush just kind of keep going until it looks the way you want it to look. Now I'm gonna take a lighter mocha brown and also a couple drips of that chocolate brown and put them in a paint palette. And then I'm going to water them down by adding some drips of water to them so that we can use the watered down paint to create some dimension in the design. So with that lighter mocha color, I'm gonna take the watered down bit and give kind of a toasted outline to the whipped cream. So if you think of like toasted marshmallows, that's kind of the look I'm going for. So. If it gets on there a little bit too defined, like if the line is too clear, just take a damp brush and come and blend it in. So the, again, this is kind of like the pumpkin, you just have to play with it. You see I got a little bit too much brown there, but you come back in with a damp brush and it kind of blends it in. So it's just play with it. 
If it gets messed up, cover it up with white again and start over. It's not a big deal, but just play around with the damp brush. If you need to dab off the excess water with your finger or even a paper towel, you can do that. That also kind of helps blend the paint. I'm also going to take a little bit of that watered down chocolate bar paint and add it to the pumpkin just for a little extra dimension around where that dark harvest orange was and also fill in the stem. I'm also going to take a little bit of that watered down mocha paint and add it to the cinnamon sticks just for a little bit of dimension where the swirl is and kind of down the line where the cinnamon stick rolls up. I'm adding a tad bit of sparkle to this design by putting some extreme hologram glitter paint around our toasted whipped cream just to give it a little sparkle and let it catch the sunlight. Now I'm going to take my Uni Posca PC1MR paint pen and outline most of the design, not quite all of it. So I'm starting with the cinnamon sticks and adding a swirl detail and where they roll up so you can kind of see that. And then I'm gonna outline the entire cup design. I'm gonna do the pumpkin with this 0.8 uni pin fine line pen just because I want it a little bit thinner of a line since it's a smaller item in the design. I just wanted a slightly thinner line, not too much detail on that one, but I wanted it to have the definition. And then I'm gonna take a 0.3 uni pin fine line pen and outline the whipped cream. I wanted a fine line on this because it's kind of a delicate part of the design, right? Whipped cream is nice and delicate and fluffy. I always seem to forget about the writing when I'm doing the design. I didn't leave a whole lot of room to write on this one, so I decided I'm gonna write up along the side of the cup. And so I'm writing, it's pumpkin spice season. I'm doing a print font with dots on the ends of the letters, and then one script word. And then I'm gonna add a couple of white accents to the cup to kind of simulate that shine look. And then I'm gonna add some resin to this design and look at how cute it came out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss future uploads. Take a peek at this video I have on the screen for you if you'd like to watch more, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.